Hello everybody, this is Alice House Gaming and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Psychonauts 2. In the previous episode, we continued exploring the quarry area, area, eventually making our way to Psycho Isolation where Compton Bool is holed up. One of the, actually the only remaining member of the uh, Senior Oblique Bowling Team, whose membership card we need. Hmm. I see what you're doing there. Hmm. Oh, you think you're clever, don't you? Looks like there's a Senior League membership card stuck in this frame. Hey, don't even look at that. It's private. Agent Bull? Huh? I mean, you're living in a glass bubble that anybody can look into on you. You don't exactly have a whole lot of privacy. Hi, I'm Rasputin. I'm a friend of your grandson. Oh no, he hasn't hurt anybody else, has he? No humans, that I know of. Good, good. Do you need help getting out of there? No, I put myself in here. Why did you put yourself in there? Well, I was feeling a little overwhelmed. And when I get overwhelmed, accidents happen. I see Lizzie introduced you to Harold. Oh no. Harry Kasparov here showed up on his own. So why is Lizzie still out there looking for animals? Oh, well, I mostly sent her away well, just because there was too many voices in here. Hint, hint. Agent Bull, I need your help. Oh no. W with what? I need a Senior League membership card. What? Well, don't look at mine. Please, Agent Bull. It's important. That bowling card is a precious memento of a dear friend. Oh, I'm sorry. Did she die? No, no, she's somewhere. Out in the forest. What? Well, let's go find her. Well, I've tried for years, but I just can't anymore. I need help catching the mole and the psychonauts. Sorry, don't do moles. They're little snouts. Give me the heebie-jeebies. No, I mean there's a counter-spy in the organization. Oh, well, I'm retired from spy work. A danger to myself and to others, they say. Who would say that? Me. I need help fighting Maligula. Ah! You need to warn a gentleman before slapping him in the face with a name like that. She's long gone, but the scars are still painful. Someone's trying to bring Maligula back. Ah! Well, I, I suppose I had enough warning that time. Listen, Maligula is dead and gone. Even if she were to return, I was no help fighting her the first time. I'll be sitting out any future molecular battles for everyone's protection. For everyone's protection. Okay then. Well, can you at least help us get uh, old Ford back? Please let me borrow your Senior League membership card. No! Now buzz off! <laughs> buzz off! Hey, hang on a second! Exactly what I was thinking, Harold. The bees could help. Cassie and I always loved working with bees in the forest. If you could bring me just one bee, I'll bet I could talk to it and find out where my Cassie is. No kidding? Here, take this and hurry. Okay, one bee coming up. Must be talking about Cassiopeia. Okay. I'm off to the forgetful forest to find a bee for Agent Bull. This is a serious mission, no matter how adorable it sounds. Eh, can't it be both? Serious and adorable? Hi! Nope. Just gonna pretend you're not even here. Scanning for thinker print. Access granted. Okay, now do I hop in the canoe and try to get some more collectibles? Ow. Sorry, little brother. I thought you were a rabid squirrel. Knock it off, Frazy. <laughs> I 
Right. What was I talking about? Oh, right, the canoe to try and get some other uh, collectibles in the area before moving on, or I can move on to the next area. Hmm. Yeah, let's just take a quick peek around. Never know what we're gonna find. Ooh, there's also stuff up there. Oh, wait, no, I need to do to get to those. Anyone want to see my oarsman's badge? No? Sorry, Raz. Even I don't want to see it. Because I already have. Okay, dock over there and head out this way. See that one over there. Alright, grab the key because we need that. Ah, I see that challenge marker. Would have thought he'd magnetize to that, but oh well. Uh, let's see, electricity up there, so we're gonna have to launch ourselves while on the ball. There we go, although I get the feeling that there are switches here. I think I got the order wrong. Oh. Done. The order's right there. There we go. I knew I was good at science. Yep. Right, jump up here, and we get the challenge marker. This before it hurts somebody. Let's see. Now, can I upgrade anything right now? Eh, I can upgrade clairvoyance. I can also upgrade telekinesis. Uh, let's go clairvoyance. When you enter clairvoyant state, your body will now be immune for it to damage for a brief period. I guess my only option is to jump down from here, but then I lose the canoe. Ah! Oh, come on, I could have bounced over to that. Uh, yep. Alright, let's grab this card, and then it's going to be back to the canoe. To the canoe, not down towards the goat. Ah, just like a camp. Yeah, except this time we were broiled in. Well, I was gonna say international politics, but not really. Let's see, been around there. Let's keep going around this way. So we got that key, so we can probably get that uh, chest up there. That'll probably be about it for now. I mean, I know there's nine more cards, but I would like to make some more story progress. Uh, let's see, been over there. 
I'd around that way. I better get back to Nick in the mailroom before it makes my backpack all goopy. Okay. Ow. Oh, better not be any lake monsters in here. Well, let's see what the big deal is. That lake monster was pretty nice in the last adventure we had. After we conquered its mind. Okay. I'm just going to grab that card up top of the jet. And then we'll probably make our way towards the abandoned mine. Nope, nope, nope. Yep. Okay, there's still... what? Uh, oops, wrong button. Uh -huh. Here we are, the quarry. Nope, that doesn't tell me what we're missing. Oh wait, no, there it is. So you got the supply chest, we're missing two keys, a side challenge marker, and eight more cards. Hmm. Well, according to this, the mine shafts are part of it, so that's probably what we need. Ha! Ah. All right, in that case, let's head off in the direction that Frazy went. Nothing to say, Frazy. Aha! I see that card. Can't leave this card lying around. Hmm. I see clairvoyant something over there. Looks like a squirrel. Careful! It gets pretty advanced up here. Not for little kids. <laughs> Hmm, this is probably something we need pyrokinesis for, so I think I can get rid of Psy Blast temporarily. Because I haven't really needed to blast anything. Of course, as soon as I say that, I'm probably gonna... Like a death trap to me. Yet. Say that, I'm probably gonna need it to blast something. Let's see, I see a card up there. The railways. What was that? I guess some of this flora is bouncy? Mm, nope. Guess I was supposed to get up there using the vines. Okay, Raz, I need you to work with me. Yep. What is that? You in here? Huh. I guess this mine is really dangerous. For skeletons. Yikes. I'll just gently release the- Ooh. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! Uh-oh. It's access some sort of fight or flight center in my own brain. I choose fight. Ah. 
Okay, would be really nice if these, uh... What is it, uh, doubts or something? Oh, shoot, I forgot. It's been a while since I've had to fight them. Yeah, doubts, because regrets were the things with the... Thank you for the mental energy, Psypop. Ah, he blasted his friend. Not what I wanted to hit. There's the mental energy I need. Thanks, Psypop. Machines are more work than I expected, but it looks more stable now. Yeah, well, not what I was planning to do, but hey, it worked. And I'm getting some cards out of it, so that's something. God dang it. Okay, that's fine. I can make my way back up. Won't take that long. Now let's try to not miss the rail this time. Alright, that's another card. And we are done in the mines. And let's get levitation back on here. And I think I'll stay as I am. Alright, well. Got some cards and learned that this stuff is bouncy. So, yay. Okay, let's get over here, or miss this entirely. Okay, well, into the mine we go, because I'm not seeing anything else to collect. Crazy? You up here? I'm telling Mom you threw a rock at me. It was a pine cone, you baby. Ow! That was a rock. I'm warning you. <laughs> New zone? Or is it still part of... That uh, counted as part of the quarry. Let's find out. Nope, we are now in the questionable area. 27 cards. That's had 27 cards, 4 supply chests, 4 keys, and 7 side challenge markers. Hmm. Okay, well, I probably should have stuck on the rails. <laughs> I see that supply key. Oh. How do I get to it? Because I don't think I can reach it. Well, maybe I can jump onto that stalactite. Yeah.
Looks like the Aquato family circus has traveled through here, all right. Yep, we had to hightail it out into the woods because you're ashamed of being an Aquato. I'll stop being ashamed of that if you stop being ashamed of being a psychic. <laughs> oh, you're asking for it, Raspy. Frazy, it's okay. You can tell Dad now. You don't have to hide anymore. <sighs> this is your last warning. Frazy? <sighs> Ow! More where that came from. I think the entrance to the forgetful forest is somewhere here in the questionable area. Hey, look, there's somebody in here. And the Psy card, which is infinitely more important than anything else right now. Psy card! Which actually got us up to here, so yes, it absolutely was important. I wonder, do I need to Psy Blast that? Okay. Hmm. Okay, I wasn't expecting it to be treated like a rail. Was I expecting to go that fast? Hey! Really? Come on, Raz. You did it once, I know you can do it a second time. Yep. Preferably without getting yourself yep. killed at the same time. Oof. I can already see we're not going to be able to get through this. At least, not the first time around. As is often the case. That's fine, though. That's what this game was made for. Exploration. There we go. Except high like cords of wood. One word scribes them, that word's good. Get rat! <clears throat> I'll see you guys back up top. Ugh, finally. I don't know what it is, but if you jump onto the axe before the guy's uh, right hand, it causes Raz to jump off. I don't know why. Chop it up to platforming jank, but hey. Got the Psy mark, uh, challenge marker. Now, time to see who's inside. <laughs> Alongside the card. Oh, for Lancelot, thank you. Are those the acorns I asked for? Yes? No. No, they can't be, can they? No, because I asked for acorns that were crushed. Didn't I? Didn't I, Fur Lancelot? I hate to yell at you, Fur Lancelot, but I... I... I am the crushed one. It crushes my heart to see you not doing your best. Understand? Now, do I need to show you how to crush things? No? You sure? Okay. Good boy. Now, try again. But this time, think about personal commitment and delivering excellence every day. All right? Sorry you had to see that, Raz. Okay, I mean, I figured she was a little crazy. Hey, Sam. 
Talk fast. Cakes are cooking. What are you doing out here? Well, you know my intern mentor, Coach Morso Oleander? Uh, yeah? Well, this is the first assignment he gave me. Mission. Get me some pancakes so I can think. I think it's supposed to teach me something about the many layers of the mind. Maybe. I know the butter stands for lateral thinking. I got that much. Pretty sure he was just hungry. Can I ask you about your family? Why? Because my last name is Ghoul? And because that's a famous family in the Psy community? And you want to network with me to further your Psy career? Go for it. Well, at least she gets it. I'm a friend of your brother's. Hmm. Your head looks remarkably unexploded. Must be the helmet. Has your brother Dogen really made someone's head explode? No, never. Wait, you mean someone who didn't deserve it? No. I mean, like, anybody. Look, nobody's nerfect. <laughs> Am I right? Can everyone in the Bull family talk to animals? Most of us can talk to them, but few of us really know how to listen to the animals. You know, for instance, I can hear you rolling your eyes, Mrs. Thatcher. What can you tell me about Compton Bull? Mm, Gramps is nice and all, but honestly, he's a little weird. <laughs> no, still too tough. Ew. Okay, I'll stop asking about your family. The bull's got nothing to hide. Unlike some of these squirrels. Relax, I'm talking about your nuts. You guys still hide nuts, right? You guys, learn to laugh a little, okay? You'll live longer. Are you worried about Maligula? Raz, Maligula's ancient history. My grandpa killed her by triggering an elephant stampede. What? I never heard Look, about... You believe the official story, do you? I have some questions about pancakes. <laughs> Start flapping, Jack. Why didn't you just go order some pancakes at the cafeteria? Agent Oleander didn't give me any money. I assumed to test my resourcefulness. What's your recipe? Just the basics, you know, eggs, milk, flour. Found most of it here with a couple quick substitutions. What sort of substitutions? If I told you, it would compromise the perceived flavor profile. Isn't that just straight up dirt? For the umami. Weren't all the supplies here kind of old? Look, you can't take the expiration dates too seriously. They're just the food industry protecting itself from lawsuits. And protecting us from, like, food poisoning? Psst. No one's getting sick from my pancakes. Unless one of you jerks didn't wash their hands. Eh, better late than never. Where'd you get the milk? From the goats? Oh, yeah, that would have been easier. <laughs> hey, it brought us closer, Fran. Uh, birds don't produce milk. You used eggs you found here? Old eggs? No! Gross! I found some fresh ones. And you know, if you use enough syrup, you can't tell chicken from snake. Eggs is eggs. Can I have a pancake? You can have any that fall on the floor. Thanks! Where'd you learn how to make pancakes? Prison. Wait, what did I say? I meant from my mother. I'm out of pancake questions. Good. Because I'm out of pancake puns. What puns? So, have you always wanted to be a psychonaut too? Uh, not really. My true dream is to be a pet therapist. Because I'm really good with animals. Right, guys? I gotta go. Catch you on the flip side. <laughs> yes, it is funny every time. Okay, what was I then. Doing here again? Oh, right. Compton needs a bee from the forgetful forest. 
Well, unfortunately, we are out of time, Raz. So, I'm going to end things off there for today. If you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications for when I upload, or hit the straw poll link to vote for our next Let's Play, which at the time of recording is currently at three votes. Oh, and I completely forgot because I record these things ahead of time, but uh, by the time this video goes up, it, uh, it'll be my birthday, turning 28. But anyways, that straw poll link is currently at three votes, two for the Banner Saga and one for the Sexy Brutal. And please, leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.